This video is going to show you how to change out the diaphragm in a Marais 16 liter tankless water heater. Remember to turn off your gas and water via the shutoff valves before attempting any repair on your unit. Once these supplies have been shut off, you can disconnect the lines if you want to remove the unit from the mounted position to work on it. First, remove the two Phillip head screws that secure the cover. The screws are located at the bottom back corners recessed inside the bottom rim of your heater, about an inch. Next, you will want to pull the knob straight off from the unit. Now, remove the cover by pulling the bottom of the unit away and lifting up. You may need to wiggle the front of the cover to remove it around the heat exchange and also to remove it off the top two connecting hooks located here. Now, grab your drill or driver, preferably an impact driver with a 6 inch Phillips head bit. If you do not have an impact driver, then you can warm the screws up by placing the tip of your screwdriver on the head of the screw and lightly tapping the butt of the screwdriver handle. First, remove the batteries from your unit, and then remove the two screws that secure the battery compartment to the case to better allow access to your water valve assembly. The diaphragm is located in the bell housing of your brass water valve. Start by removing the four screws that hold the water valve housing of the diaphragm together. Once these four screws are removed, you will want to remove the two screws that connect the heat exchanger tube to the water valve. Finally, remove the two screws that secure the water valve assembly bracket to the bracket plate connected to the back of the unit. Gently remove the freed half of the water valve and remove the old diaphragm. If your water heater has a digital temperature display, then you will need to disconnect the two clips connecting the display to free your cover. Please note, do not lose the small brass retaining collars. They will need to be removed from your old diaphragm and inserted into the new replacement diaphragm. Now, to start reassembling the parts, apply a very small amount of petroleum jelly to the inner lip of the removed section of the water valve. This is to help hold the diaphragm in place as you reassemble the water valve and help preventing pinching the diaphragm. 
Please note to place the diaphragm into the water valve assembly correctly by placing the diaphragm with the concave side facing out in the removed half of the water valve assembly. If you removed your unit from the wall to work on it, then you will want to start the reassembly by slowly inserting the four housing screws without completely tightening them. Once all screws are in place, then go back and securely tighten them with your drill. Be careful that the diaphragm has not gotten pinched in between the two pieces of the water valve assembly and it is pushing out the bell housing. If this happens, then loosen the housing screws and resituate the diaphragm and retighten the screws. Next, reattach the water valve bracket to the back case and finally reinsert the two silver screws that attach the tube from the heat exchanger to the water valve. Want to reconnect your battery compartment and reinstall the two screws securing the battery compartment to your case. If you left your unit mounted on the wall, then you will repeat the same process, only you will need to connect the water valve bracket loosely to the back mounting bracket. Leave enough play to ensure a proper fit on the bell housing. Go back and tighten these screws down once completed with the rest of the steps. Finally, re-secure your front cover by inserting the tabs inside of the two openings at the top of your case. Reattach the knobs onto the valve stems of the unit and reinsert your cover screws onto the bottom. Don't forget to reattach your water lines and gas lines if you removed them at the beginning or cut on your gas and water shutoff valves if you left the unit mounted.